so we went ahead and did uh, a three stripe style on the camper a little bit of a lighter yellow then a darker kind of in the orange then goes into the red um, I don't know if y'all remember the 70s uh, the big thing back then was a lot of um, uh, three bar style two bar style um, if you go to like the old 70s skating rings they would have that bar I, maybe I'll throw some pictures in the, uh, uh, for some ideas on it um, where they do a lot of uh, swoops and turns you know kind of like an S turn a lot and a lot of people like that's kind of like 70s style so we kind of did that and met up in the middle and just did a stripe all the way through without the thing. Uh, funny thing is, I was actually thinking about this for my truck, my uh, Ford, my 95 Ford. I was thinking about doing a gradient like that also for the truck. I thought it'd be really cool. Uh, and then he decided to do this on his, uh, so that that was really funny. But uh, we're gonna do the three stripes on it and keep that 70s vibe. Um, I think it turned out really awesome. That's the main thing. Again, this is just rattle can. He just wanted to, you know, see how he liked it. We're still probably going to get it professionally painted. Uh, another thing we he already ended up doing was uh, he put this awning up here, and he got that mounted up like so, so he can pull that out, have an awning when he's camping. Um, these are our smaller wheels. I forget what size these wheels are, but what he uses these wheels for is he puts them on the smaller wheels so he can fit this in the garage so he can continue working on the uh, camper and not have to have it outside. Uh, he was going to leave it at my house a long time ago. I got a little bit more property than him, but it's just too much work to be driving back and forth, back and forth uh, to my house, to his house to just work on the camper. So that's how, you know, we ended up doing it. Some people have asked about, some people have asked about the, um, the rack the roof rack i don't think he's gonna put it back on i really like the roof rack on it um another thing with the problem with the roof rack is even with the smaller wheels with the roof rack on he can't fit this in his garage so he has to just you know ditch the roof rack for now um i don't know if it was original or not i mean it, it looked original for it for the camper i really liked it but he just it ain't gonna work out for him on the on the rack to be able to take it in and out of the camper uh, another thing he's been working on, I showed you on the last video, is the door. And I think we got this door pretty spot on. You can see there is no more um, drip, droop or whatever from the door uh, being bowed out. I'll show you on this side. It sits pretty flush now. See that? So. He's been working on this door, getting it sealed up really good. I think he still has to put the weather seal on it. But I'll show you the inside. I showed you all this last time. That he was trying to pull it like this tight to bend the door. Um, so he's already done that, got to the shape he needs it, made relief cuts. Now he's fiberglassing in. This is all a couple of layers already of fiberglass that he's been putting in. Um, putting strength in it so that way, you know, it, was, it keeps the shape. So all these relief cuts helped it close the, the gap and letting it bend in. So that's another thing he's got. Um, nothing on the inside like I showed y'all, just some, you know, a little decorating stuff. Welcome to the hive. He's doing some decorating. He just showed me this, this is really cool. A uh, little storage box that he found fits perfect in here. This is something at Walmart they just uh, got in stock, but I saw it, but I didn't really look into these that much. I just saw them around, but basically it's a Netflix show called um, The Home Edit and it's a box exclusive to it. Um, so those fit perfectly in here. He's gonna go get a couple more. That was just a test one to see if it fits. Um, someone wanted a, a close up on the, on the curtains. These are the curtains. They're just snaps. So you just put snaps here and snap there and it just rolls up same same with this there's a little snap right here a snap and a snap there's no rod there's nothing like that to mount um it did have a rod or something like that something similar in here and what the problem was it just was screws sticking out uh we don't remember the older videos but these were screw holes and they were just sticking out screws points and it just didn't didn't look right didn't look good at all so so uh he didn't care for it but uh, those are just put in by snaps. That's how that is. I'm trying to think of any other questions y'all had that I've been replying, 
replying to a lot of the comments and so has he on um, on the videos uh, trying to answer everyone's questions and everything. Here's the door. See how it used to be like that pretty much. And that thing is flush. Yeah. So looking really good. He's really excited about it. Um, I was gonna share a date with y'all guys real quick. He's gonna try to take this out to the uh, Texas Vintage Trailers in Cold Spring. I think it's uh, April 13th and 16th. Now he's telling me about the event. This is the first event that he's trying to go to um, for the camper. And basically there's limited spots. So, you know, people that usually go a lot will uh, get first dibs. So he's trying to get a spot on there. If anyone's on that group that can, maybe can help him out, get, get him on the, get him on spot so he can go show it off to everyone over there. That'd be perfect. Um, he wants to take it there to go uh, check out the other campers. I think I'm gonna set him up with a couple of my cameras. So that way he can go and film um, y'all's campers and see what y'all got built and just see what everyone else is doing with their campers and the cool ideas because he's really into this and he's getting it ready for um, that trip. He's gonna take some other trips, I think. He's gonna take some other trips um, uh, this year, maybe to the beach, to some, uh, some of the campsites, just to get some more miles on it and just make sure everything's tip top before he does anything, you know, real far. But, that's pretty much it on the camper guys. Like I said, I don't usually post up a lot of videos on the camper, you know, back to back, back to back because it just takes a while. You know, he's, he only works on it at night, just like I do stuff. So it just takes a lot longer to finish stuff up and do things. Um, but the next update probably be a month from now, probably be a, a camping video, taking it out, driving it out, doing some, uh, you know, uh, rolling video of it on the road with his, with his um, rig all raked up and everything. So that's pretty much it, y'all guys. We'll see y'all guys in the next video. Um, I'm happy y'all guys are giving the bowler some love and we appreciate it. Um, so we'll see you guys in a couple months. Later.